The postage stamp is the most widely known postal symbol. It travels the world as an ambassador representing the past, present and future of its nation, state or territory's cultural identity and heritage. Postage stamps and philatelic products represent a considerable source of revenue for posts around the world. The primary function of the stamp is of course to pay for mail but posts are increasingly issuing stamps to sell as souvenirs or for philatelic purposes. Today, the stamp generates a $27.7 billion annual turnover for posts. If we include stamp sales through dealers and auctions, this figure can reach upwards of $50 billion. An entire industrial chain is dependent on the postage stamp, from the issuer, the printer, artist, to the seller of individual stamp albums. Innovation is a must to attract new customers and satisfy philatelists. Posts are now using original shapes, customizations, security perforations and new techniques such as holograms and lenticular motion. Or incorporating other materials such as crystals, seeds and stone. And printing onto unusual materials such as cork, metal and woven fabrics, even real silk as we can see here. This remarkable stamp was printed onto a specially prepared silk and its counterpart, which we will see later on, was gold foil blocked to produce a collection of two wonderful stamps with a self-adhesive backing. Like all stamps, the story really begins in the repro department of the stamp printer, where skilled artists prepare the artwork for print using specialist equipment and software. Our stamp then begins the next stage of its journey. The artwork is electronically transferred to the printing plates, with the design being reproduced onto four metal plates. This work, which traditionally involved baths of chemicals, dark rooms and large pieces of photographic film, is now carried out using the very latest straight-to-plate technology and daylight plate-making machines. The plates are attached to a sheet-fed, offset litho press and the ink added to the separate colour stations of the press. A pallet of silk is loaded and the press can begin rolling. The sheets are printed in one operation, with each colour laid down in turn as they pass through the press. The first few sheets are carefully inspected before subtle adjustments are made via the touchscreen and control panel. Meanwhile, metal blocks are being prepared. The blocks or dies are engineered to suit each stamp or stamp sheet. The metal pins inserted into the pre-drilled holes will eventually create what we know as perforations. The silk stamp's counterpart, a gold foiled stamp, is also about to go through its finishing touches. The addition of fine real gold foil detail is the crowning glory and gives the stamp extra depth as well as enhancing its appeal to the collector. Solid brass dies with hand-finished designs engraved on their surfaces are secured to a metal plate that is pushed into position and meticulously aligned with a perfectly matched reverse impression. As the printed sheets are fed into the foil blocking press, the dies are brought together and sandwich the sheet momentarily along with a thin metal foil. The heat and pressure will transfer the foiled design to the stamp sheet. The ultra-thin metal ribbon used to create the effect can be a coloured foil or, as in this case, real 22 karat gold. The effect is mesmerising. Although the sheets look perfect, as with every procedure in stamp production, they are thoroughly inspected to check for alignment, adhesion and overall quality. This is where we started our journey, with our highly unusual and prized silk and gold foiled stamps. Just two of many stamps that challenge the notion that stamps are one-dimensional, gummed and printed on paper. New techniques, new finishes and the addition of real material are all making their presence felt, offering an amazing uniqueness to each stamp, as well as interest and fun and providing another level of security for posts around the world. 
One can therefore expect to see the stamp remain with us as it evolves in time and originality for the greatest pleasure of philatelists everywhere.